10 months since Tiger was dramatically grounded by the air safety regulator, the airline is returning services to Hobart. And the company's chief executive told me at 35,000 feet in the air that it's important to be back. So for the last eight months, for us, it's been all about rebuilding the airline. It's been about getting a reliable product, and we've certainly got that now. It's been a dangerous year for Tiger's management, literally sink or swim. The company turned its back on its famous $1 fares, which put thrift ahead of reliability. They now admit that was a mistake and that that international model for low-cost airlines doesn't work here in Australia. People in this country understand that model, they understand that product, but they, what they don't tolerate is when you promise one thing and deliver something else. Hobart rolled out the red carpet for Tiger's return and it's easy to understand the reason for their excitement. From November, Tiger will deliver up to 5,000 passengers a week from Melbourne but that shows just how significant the airline's grounding was last July on the Tasmanian economy. Aaron Young, Sky News, Hobart.